Got a 2012 Toyota Camry. Got a 2.5 engine in here. Apparently dealing with a rattle noise. And uh, obviously it's, it's sitting here stationary, idle. It's in drive. But when the RPM gets low and it's under a load, then you start hearing a, hearing a rattle. Depending on how hot the engine is, and if the if there's a load like the AC is being on, then you'll hear it. Right now, there we go. The AC is on. Load is present. But if you definitely if you put it in drive while idle, it'll it'll keep that noise. I have some tool holding the brake, so right now it's in drive. Brake is applied. It's going in the car. So I took my stethoscope and it's very pronounced in this area. So we're dealing with the balance shaft. So here's the thing, I've already been through this once and just pulled the pan down for a visual inspection. So the pan's gonna be clean and you can see remnants of my glue and my fingerprints and stuff. Uh, because I, I needed to do a visual inspection, make, there, make sure there was nothing catastrophic inside this pan here. So I already pulled it down once. It's not that hard. I'm gonna go through the process to show you that. Uh, so simply all I need is a 10 millimeter. Well, I'm gonna drain the oil, get a 10 millimeter. 12 and a 14 and then we'll be able to get it down and I got a paint pen to mark my orientation so I'm gonna drain the oil first and uh, I'll, I'll, prob I'll probably change the oil this time I had recycled the oil because it was already changed but I'm um, I'm considering just probably recycling because the oil was fine it was perfectly fine Man, I was trying to record that natural light don't seem to be my friend so, hopefully this is a little better. It looked kind of ashy though. I'm gonna drain this oil and I gotta make a run. So when I come back, oh gosh. Yeah, everything should be drained out nice and neat. Besides the fact I done got oil on my forearm. This I'll pull this pan down. Like I said, the oil looks great. I, mean, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it still has that brown color. It should give it plenty of time to cool down. I mean, it's not that hot. I'd rather work on a cold engine. It's been draining for about 30 plus minutes. So we're good on this end. Tear this down. We've got a quarter inch with the wobble head, 10 millimeter. To a three eighths to a quarter inch reducer. So what's going on? So yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of grooves in here, but the glue is gonna fill those voids. And I'm gonna knock these dents back flush when I have the pan out. Our balance shaft. So 
here's our balance shaft. So the key thing here is crazy because it's about to stop in the same place I oriented it originally. So the key thing here is I'm just going to mark it just like timing. Um, make my marks where I uh, pull it out and when I put the new one back in, I'm going to put them back in the same, same orientation. So these are some indentions or well, protrusions here. I got a mark there, but I'm gonna line those back up. I'm gonna line them back up and then when I get it out and I can look at it better and see what marks are where. So let me get my paint pen. So here's our driving gear at the crank for the balance shaft. Now you want to inspect this and make sure the teeth are not damaged, but this don't seems to be the case in what we're dealing with, I'd imagine. The only thing that bothered me was the heat. Right around there, right around there. I'm not sure if that was just from manufacturing and how they welded it on there, but the caps aren't, they don't have that same purplish color so I'm not going to stress out about it. The engine looks really good inside. It looks very good. Now, mind you, when I went through it originally, I hit it with some brake clean in the uh, valley here. So that's why it looks, it looked like this. But this is the brake cleaner. Got all that old oil off. So I'm going to hit it again just to get the areas dried up. I'm not going to worry about scraping it off. Just dry it up really good and put the glue on the pan and bolt it back up. Let's look at the balance shaft. So the customer wound up getting this off of Amazon. Uh oh. So I got the balance shafts lined up here. And here's my the old one. The marks. We're at 12 o'clock here. The dot is at 11. This dot is around 11 o'clock too. These don't look identical. Because of the weight that's here so you have to go off the counterweight and the face and the, the dots here this pin seems to be lined up properly that seems to be the same For some strange reason that weight just looks different so the know that I'm there they're lined up I mean they have to be there have to be balanced properly. I went off the counterweight, got that flush like so. Same with this one. Get them flush and then just look at the dot. It's pointing at six o'clock. They're both equal. So that's how I wound up uh, lining it up or helping. So these The old one, I want to say it has a little play in it. It's a little bit more than the new one. But I have to pull this one apart to make certain uh, what's going on with it. But in the moment, I'm going to get it in there because I need to get this back together. Because I got other stuff I got to work on. And we'll see how it runs. So let's get torqued down to 18 foot pounds.
had a mind of its own, they wind up getting off when I lowered it. Too much. No big deal. That's why we have marks indicated. So, because what'll happen, you move it, they'll do that number. I uh, didn't take that into account. These are 10 millimeter bolts, so they're only gonna go in about 89 inch pounds, so which is about less than nine foot pounds, soaring around about that. So I'm not breaking my neck over torquing those down, because I never do. The oil pump pickup have a O-ring on it, so this is what it looks like. If it's not protruding, then it'll be a good idea to replace it. This is definitely questionable, but it works. show you crazy thing because of the oil going down in there so black it's not going to show up on a dipstick the same color as going in so I know some people were like why are you putting old oil back in there but it was it looks clean it looks great let me show you look how clean it looks on the stick it's not black as you think it is okay let's start up and see what happens So it's been running for four minutes, and this is as good as it's gonna get. I mean, you don't hear that same noise, it was definitely a lot louder. 
and you can hear it but it's not as significant as I would consider it but it's, it's going to be some noise there I mean these engines aren't aren't quiet This is with the AC on. So we've been running for about 10 minutes. We're at normal operating temperature. And this is the noise. Yeah, so it's way better. So I wound up taking the balance shaft apart. And let me show you what happened. And I'm pretty sure there's a thousand videos on this of what went on. Once I held it, closed the gears real tight. That right there. There's a problem. So what will happen under low RPM, instead of keeping that momentum and rotating, the sound will go away and under uh, duress, it would want to force itself the other way and that's what we'll hear that noise so this this works out i wonder if i could separate this i don't i don't know how this works and this correct me if i'm wrong y'all probably know better than i do this is normal or not let me see if i can separate it take a chisel or something too These are little fingers that fail. Okay. I'm gonna put it this way. If that was a rebuild kit, <laughs> I screwed up every chance of this thing working. Like I said, I got a press and stuff. This is this broke. Dry rotted. It's like a dampener. These rubber inserts. Cool. Well, I learned something new. Hey, look, I'm done. Hey, look, if anything happened with this vehicle, again, he got off Amazon, so no warranty. I got paid for it already, and I can't guarantee it will or will not work, but it's working right now, so we should be fine. If anything happened, I'll definitely update. Hit that link, subscribe to the channel, stay informed, how the rich is going to work. See you on the next one.